do exercise number two, which is the creating a coffee table. So we're going to do it again. We're going to hit the reset like we did before. Reset. Yes. Now we're going to go back to customize unit setups. We're going to go to metric and we're going to make sure that it's in centimeters. Press OK. We're going to go to our grid setups. So we go right click, home grid. We're going to change the units over here to three, four, and ten. And we're going to make it active in all units, active in all viewports, sorry. Press OK. From there now, we're going to save the file, file save as M3. And I'm going to overwrite mine, which is called coffee table finish. So now we're going to start. From. So we set the grids, and now we're going to go make our table. So let's go to the top view, maximize it. Go do a cylinder, go to the keyboard entry, and we're going to type in, again, 37.5, and our height is going to be 2, all right? And inside our perimeters, parameters, sorry, we're going to go a height segment to 1, our cap segment to 1, and our size to 63. All right, once that's done, we do the create, and now we have it centrally in the middle. From here now we're going to go back and we're going to create a new one. We're going to go. So now we're going to resume. We have the bottom one. Now we're going to create the next one. So we're going to go create. We're going to go here now and we're going to create a torus. We're going to do the same one. We're going to go back and we're going to type in radius one right away as 37.5 and the little one as 1.581. We're going to go open up the perimeters over here. We're going to set the radiuses to 100 segments. And we're going to change size to 12. I think if we do this again, it's going to adjust it. If I do 37.5, and here I do 1.581, and here I put zero, zero. I think it's going to work as well. Create. No. So maybe I should just do 37.5 and 1.581. So it creates it right away in the middle. If then it, if we go to the properties, we notice we have the same settings we did before. We kind of save a step of modifying it back and forth, considering we already know the numbers. So if I go look at it now, it's placed exactly in the middle of that piece. What we want to do is we want to move it to the top. So what we can do now is we could do like we've done before. It's already aligned to the middle. So we're going to align it to the top of the piece. So we're going to click on Taurus and then we're going to go to Tools, Align, and we're going to go to click on the cylinder top. From there we're going to go check to see that it goes on top of the actual piece. So we're going to go along the Z and we're going to go to Min and max. So it gives us exactly on top of that piece. Press OK. And now we have it. So we aligned it to the top, like it said here, and we moved it to the two top objects. So now we're going to go back. We're going to grab both of them from the... I'm going to do it from the front view, because we can see both. We're going to grab both of them like so. And we're going to move it down 30. So if I go here, and I press down, you notice that it's going to as close as possible to 30. So I'm at 30.545. I'm going to call it now, just to make it easier for me, base. I'm going to rename this one here to the top of the table. This one here, I'm going to rename it to top. And this is going to be Taurus rename. It's going to be top. Taurus, so it's easier for me to find which each one is. Go here, rename, base, Taurus. So now we know which one's which. Now it said it was supposed to be 30, so let's go open up our one we did before and let's go check. Right now, nope, that's not good. Let's go here, check this one first. Again, if I click on one, press F12. 
I could see where it is and it should be 30. So let's take out this and put zero. Go to the next one, which is the tourist of the base and type in the same as this one minus 30. So let's go to the top first. We have it at 351. So if we go look at the bottom one now, it should be the same number minus 30. So minus 30. I don't think that's correct, but see, no, it was good before I had it. I think it was good like I had it the first time, like this. So now if I rotate it, it looks actually perfect the way I had it the first time. So it's good. Now that I have that done, the next step I have to do is we're going to go to the top view again, maximize it, take off the grid for now, or leave the grids on, make it bigger. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another cylinder, like so. And we're going to go do it the same way we did before. <coughs> we're going to go do radius <coughs> 1.2, the height 41. And then we're going to go to our, let's type it again, 1.2, our height 41. Our height segments, we said we're going to put our 1 number of sides 18. Once that is done we're gonna go before we actually move it we're gonna type in our coordinates for it and we're gonna make x be a negative 40.246 y at 0 and z at negative 35.352. Now that we have those placed we're gonna press create and it throws it nicely in the corner. Why did I do that way? This way it stops me helps me from doing extra steps later on. Let's just hit save, because we haven't hit save in a while. Now that we had coffee table, finish, save, replace, it should automatically do control S, do increment saves. If it doesn't, just press the little plus, and it's going to overwrite that again. It's just because I had to did it before, so now it's working again. So now that I did that, we're going to go and do the array. So now we're going to go, and now we're going to do the array. So we're going to go into the hierarchy, which is over here. And we're going to go make sure that we use use working pivot, which is use working pivot, which brings it right away to the middle. And then from there now, if I go select the legs on the one, do tools, array, flip it over here, and I type in 360. Then I go to count three, press OK. And there you go, it's perfect. So now we have it, we go look, put the 3D views, save, file save, do file save as, because we are done, get rid of the name, call it finish, save. Replace, yes. Thank you so much, and that's how the table is done.